How to 360. You're gonna wanna do a 180. I mean, I'd start off with a 90. I mean, but. <laughs> once you master the 90, move on to the 180. Alright. So, once you do them 180s and stuff, then like, do like 270s, I guess, on like hips and stuff, flat ground, whatever you want. And then, you can do 360. Alright, so like, you can do that. Alright, so once you do that, you can do a fly out. Alright, so once you do that, you can do a fly out. You can do a fly out, I guess, you can just go to comfortable speed, enough to where you will not land back in the ramp. So yeah, just go. Um, and you pretty much just whip your bike around. Just turn your head, turn your head, turn your shoulders. Turn you have no idea how to explain it three. That's what I do. <laughs> well, I, have you ever seen how you... You want to see it Yes. Yes. Cut! Wow. <laughs> Cody, come here. Come, come. How do you 360? All right, well, you carve. You carve, you get to the coping. And, uh, just... Pretty much pull up and turn your head like look down like this, go that, and then suck the knees up as much as you can so they won't land on your back tire and pivot. So you don't want to peg it, and uh, just prepare for the landing and don't fall. Helmets, don't fall. Alright, so do three. Uh, it shouldn't really matter what foot you are forward. I'm goofy, but I still got good looking threes. So, uh, it's usually front foot forward, you turn the opposite. So, if you're right foot, you turn left. If you're left foot, you turn right. But me, I'm left and I turn left. So, yeah. Same thing applies. Alright, uh, for flat threes, same rules apply, but <laughs> it's just harder because you're on flat and you don't have a transition to shoot you up like ET. Oh yeah! <laughs>